stress, then I am turning him into a second second class citizen. Yes, there is a freedom of expression, there is also freedom of choice. Both go together. And Mr. Gautam is saying, quoting the Constitution 19A, I think he is really talking about freedom of expression, there is also freedom of thought and freedom of choice. You cannot have freedom of expression without those two freedoms. You cannot have freedom of expression without freedom of thought and freedom of choice. Otherwise, you are always speaking doing nothing. You will be only expressing and doing nothing. So all these three freedom come together. So the point he has raised is our point that we know. The dark menace we know because we are the sufferers. Even the drug menace has two sides to it. What is the supply chain that the government must stop? And the demand chain, the society must play a bigger role. There is the supply and demand of drugs in North East. The demand chain, we have to, the society has to play a very, very vital role. And in the supply chain, the government has to play a very vital role. We can use the police, we can use the intelligence agencies, we can make it more punishable, we can have a more active you know, judiciary system against drugs. That's the government part. And our part as members of society, we must see that children don't demand drugs. Because if there is a demand, there's always going to be a supply. It may be more expensive, it will become more notorious. So in a democracy, Society and government must work together on many issues. And our Tiplasas must think what is the way out? We are minority, we can't become majority. We cannot become majority of 30 to 29 percent, cannot become 70 percent overnight. We can't talk about rabbits here. We are talking about human beings. What is the way out? For me, with my personal view, we may share it or even not share it. For me, I think that we should stress more on quality. Because in this age, quality counts more than quantity. I keep to youngsters, I keep telling them, look at the Parsi community, a small community. But who's the businessman? Tata, Godrich, Bombay Dai, who's in the army? Kariyappa or what? Uh, Manikshaw. Who is the scientist? Bhumi, uh, Omi Bhava. So quantitative, no, quantitative game, we have been put back, pushed back. I believe in it completely. Because fooling myself will not help anyone. As I said, borders were, are created by democratic countries to protect the citizens. But in Tripura, the borders became floodgates. Everywhere, all over the world, why is the border created? Why are police put on the border? Why is BSA put on the border? To protect the citizens. But in Tipura, 75 years back, the borders became floodgates. And that floodgate was opened. And the indigenous people were swamped. That's what happened. That is the factual point of history. And today as we stand today, with 29-30%, that's what we have. We have to fight the, now, not the quantity battle, but the quality battle. And I completely agree with our learned advocate that all of the people are very lucky to be in Delhi. I said during my time, people didn't know where Tripura was. We used to come to Delhi, Kaha, Bhai, where Tripura is, I have a Assam say. And we used to get so fed up with, Haha, Assam say. Tell Bhai, Kusta Samjhe. Kako Nita Samjhaega, Mayat Pusko. I was studying in Dhazli. And all, they all thought I belonged to Bhutan. They used to put me with Bhutan batch. We are coming home. 
You see, people are not in that position because of you all. There are students in Bangalore, students in Madras, in Chennai, students in Mumbai, students in Delhi. So staying out of politics is not going to help you. You have to politicize yourself. You have to stress on quality. Being a good engineer, a good doctor is not going to, going to solve our problem in society. You have to be a good doctor, good engineer and a good social activist also. This is the responsibility that is thrust on us by its most partition history, by depredation. This is being thrust on us that we cannot only become doctors like other people and we hang a stethoscope around our neck and walk around. We have to get that stethoscope and also become social activists for the betterment of our society. This is the additional responsibility that we should have to have to get. Because I was telling those boys and girls would come to see me, no matter where you are, no matter where you are, no matter how big a mountain you climb, you will always be at the plaza. I remember, you know, this uh, Mr. Gonzalez, S.D. Barman is from Tripura, and so the R.D. Barman, and they left Tripura and went to Bombay, reached great heights, never came back to Tripura because, you know, they were too busy. But they never wished to be there. They used to always ask, are the trees still there? How is my house there? So no matter how big a tree is, its root makes it stand. And bigger the tree, deeper the roots. And your tree is very big, it's got a very long history. So you know, Bhatpaiji once said to us when we were very young, I think it is a very nice thing he told us one day, if a man has gone to the moon, man has learned how to go to the moon, but they haven't learned how to live on this earth. This is the problem. So battles are always not lost. It is just, you know, we have to change the angle of our battle now. Or battle for survival, or battle for our identity. It needs to take a new turn. It needs to take a new turn. We have to get some more doctors, we have to get some more engineers, and this is happening in this society. I am so happy to see it. Without anyone telling you all, you all have managed it. Now we have TCS officers, very small number. We have a few IS officers, we have doctors, we have engineers, we have lawyers. Because we didn't have one lawyer, imagine. In those days of terrorism, when these uh, NLFT and all were there, they were putting fake cases against the tribe. And they didn't trust the other, other lawyers, so they used to go to a lawyer, you know, I won't utter the name, he was a Muslim, they used to trust him. You know, there were no free lawyers at that time. From that place, we have moved a lot. We have moved a lot, we have come forward, and uh, you boys and girls who are you know, outside the state need to carry it up. You are the torch bearers. You need to inspire people. You need to inspire people. No one can go forward if the society pulls you back. Remember that. If you think I'm done, I've studied in Delhi and I've got a nice job, you will not move forward if the society pulls you back. So, responsibility is with us now. The government will do. In government also, he knows very well, numbers count. In democracy, it is the number which speaks, not the quality. So it is very difficult to do everything. Because at the end of the day, it is the numbers that count in electoral politics. But as a society, we have to. We have to bear the responsibility of being a good doctor and a good social activist, of inspiring people of leading people, of knowing the problems, thinking of solutions, encouraging people to move, that we will do something. A disheartened heart does not function. 
If your spirit is disheartened, you will not be able to function. You will not lead anyone. The worst thing that can happen to a society when it, when it has disheartened leaders. Are inspiring leaders. You know, you have uh, leaders who are disheartened when everything is finished. All wars are finished. That was the one that lost the outcome of the matter of the, of the war. The many battles that have gotten lost. But we are fighting a war of survival. And we have to do it. There's no other way of, you know, saying that I won't do it. There's no choice for us not to do it. There's absolutely no choice for us not to do it. We have to do it. And I, I my personal view, let us improve the quality. We cannot improve the quality, we cannot become 70%. And when greater decline will happen, will happen. But we cannot, you know, if we take too much of time, and then uh, what will happen to society? We have to have long-term goals and short-term goals. Also. When you go to war, you have long-term strategies and short-term strategies. So I thank the president and the office bearers for inviting me here, and I. Love this speech. It reminds me of my young days huh? when we were called radicals. And uh, radicalism is not bad. Those are the people who change the world. It's just true. It's true, actually. People who think radically have changed the world. And uh, but we all must be social activists. No matter doctor, engineer, artist, whatever, singer, dancer, whatever we become, we have to be have social activism. Keep the society in mind all the time. Because if the link is broken, everything is lost. And thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you again sometime. Thank you. This is the continuous. And um, Mr. Gonzalez would, would be surprised to know that during the partition, some people's bathrooms were in Bangladesh, or then in Pakistan, and bedrooms in India. That was the state of affairs from where we started. And as for land, land is something the indigenous people are very attached to. Their whole identity, their culture, their occupation is all linked with their land. And as Mr. Gonzalo was saying, you must be political. I agree to that. You may not contest elections. <coughs> it's not necessary to be in electoral politics all the time, though I am in that for a very long time. And uh, but politics is something which we say, you know, is Agniti. It's a niti. It's a policy making subject. A policy too for the betterment of your own society. So politics we understand today is you know, standing in elections, losing elections. I lost the elections, by the way. When they asked me to stand for a fourth one, I said, no, I don't want to spoil my happiness. <laughs> so it was, it was, you know, that's another game altogether. Those are, you know, some of you may join politics, electoral politics. There's nothing wrong in that. Young people should join. And I've always championed the cause of asking questions. There must always be questions to everything. I was speaking to a huge crowd of, you know, Indian Youth Parliament in Jaipur. And there I said, I even quoted the scriptures and said, there would be no Bhagavad Gita if there was no argument. If Arjun did not argue with Krishna, there would be no, there would be no Bhagavad Gita. So this form of debate is one of the best things to have in young minds. It stimulates your mind. But in Tripura we have reached such a stage that we have to look for solutions now. We have to look for solutions. There is no other way around. There is no one fights for problems. People fight for solutions. People need to fight for solutions, not for problems. 
problems are there created by history, by geography, by socio-economic conditions, by demographic changes, by our own way of thinking. I have been in politics for a very long time and I have seen many ritual parties come and go. I have worked with stalwarts like Samajan Ripra. He was with me in politics. We fought elections together in 1999 with the TUGS. They had the demands of Indira Modi PT that after 71 whoever came should be pushed back. The demand carried on and on and on now 50 years has gone. Time is a very big factor. They started a movement when they were young. It was known as Tibra Yuvo Shumiti. So they were all Yuvaks at that time. And they started a demand saying that people who came in 71 should be pushed back. But they kept on with the demand and they became very old. Because I had sent them to Delhi to align with BGP and my president wouldn't sign that agreement for a long time. And those days there was no mobile phone. I was talking on 99. He called me on my line phone and asked me, are these the Yuvaks you have sent? I said, no, they have become old because of the, you know, I think they have done for the tribals. So ritual parties have to realize there is a space for regional parties in Tripura. There is no question about it. There was INPT, there was IPFT, there was TUGS and some more minor parties. But it is high time the aspirations of the people need to be achieved. Education. In my times, I never found one person from Tripura and Delhi. Today, I am sending a hall full of boys and girls here. I remember the previous chief minister told me one day, when I asked him that, you know, for something regarding the tribal, is not required. During the CPM regime, he told me, in Bengali, onek itu hai, onek doctor atse, onek engineer atse, and I told him, it is not because of you, it is despite of you. It is not because of you, it is despite of you. And Mr. Gonzalo was saying that there is a grim atmosphere. I hear a lot of people, I once met uh, Mr. Vardharadan of The Wire, he is the editor of The Wire. And he was also talking about tolerance. And uh, I believe that tolerance has to be on both sides. <coughs> Political parties have to be tolerant in a democratic setup. So has the press and so has the law faculty. And the word tolerance is not a nice word. I would ask Mr. Gonzalo if his wife had to tolerate him and he had to tolerate his wife, the marriage wouldn't have been happy. <laughs> the word tolerance is not a nice word. The word is Mutual trust. The word that should be used is mutual trust. If you children had to tolerate your father and mother, and your father and mother had to tolerate you, there would be ruckus in the family. The word is building up a mutual trust. And uh, he was talking of education. I think education is the biggest challenge in the Because I remember during those days of, you know, terrorist activities. When there was, there was no terrorist activity in certain areas, the teachers would not go, claiming that terrorists would kidnap them. For 10 or 15 years that went on. When, we, when the government, the then government, we were not in government at that time. When they were asked to attend school in the tribal area, they said, no, we cannot go, we will be kidnapped. And as with luck would have it, we didn't have that resource at that time of teachers. So the whole society went back. And 
then I don't say that any movement fails totally. Those movements also have their own benefits. I am quite frank in that. But then, education suffered at that time. Health services suffered at that time. And land, Forest Right, Forest Dweller Act, it's a very nice law in paper. It gives a lot of, you know, punish to the indigenous people to own land. But then, I remember people when we were in opposition and the previous government was there. They were given land in some forest where they were not, they were not dwelling. And they couldn't know which, which forest they belong to. If I, if I was dwelling in forest A, I would get a part of forest C or D. So, you know, that was the problem that we are facing today. It's not that this government has solved all problems. It's not possible in four years or five years to solve all problems. So it's just not possible. And we are neither here to crush anyone. We want the tribal to be aspirational. We don't want the CPM type, you know, BPM type, Dalbat Khao Ban Bushe Thako. I have Dalbat sit at home. I don't believe in that at all. I don't believe in that at all. I believe that every society must be aspirational. And today, if there is an uprising of the youth, as Mr. Gonzalez says, because we don't think of crushing it. We don't believe in crushing it. Let us hear them. And what was in my power as a state minister, we have passed it in the cabinet. The land rights to ADC, 40 more sub 42 more subjects to ADC, but the whole trouble is get stuck up in Delhi. Because once they bring amendment to six schedule, they have to consult all the state stakeholders. They have to consult all stakeholders. And the ADC too must function. If the ADC thinks that we will copy the state government, when nothing happens, so when nothing should happen here also, then nothing will happen. ADC too must take his responsibility. More power, more finance. I am the finance minister of Tripura. I am also yelling for more finance to Modiji. Everyone wants more, nothing wants, no one wants less. Only that people want less is less responsibility. That's something that people want, is less responsibility and more of everything else. So everything has to function. And I believe that the ADC can be an instrument of change. And I strongly believe this. Right leadership, right vision, Less of politics, more of society, and I think the ADC will be on its road to progress. Mm. And I believe in Thamsa. There's no harm in believing in Thamsa. Who doesn't want Thamsa? Maybe politically it may not be viable in India with the multi party system. Everyone cannot do one party. That was make India into China, where they call it people's democracy with one party. That may not be possible, but socially, yes, there should be Thamsa. Culturally, there should be Thamsa. Historically, there was Thamsa. Something we've had, why can't we have it again? We're not asking for the moon. We had it once upon a time. We fought the Mughals to Thamsa. We fought the British through Thamsa. We fought the Pathan through Thamsa. So we can have it. We are not asking for something. Or Pradyut is not asking for something that was not there. He is asking for something that was already there. But politically, 
Maybe that may not be viable, I keep saying, because India is a multi-party system. And every man has a right to form or follow whatever party he feels like, he or she feels like.